What's going on guys, it's MadMat9955 here, and today we're going to be going over a Maikashi FTK deck. Uh, basically, this deck is designed to summon out a bunch of zombie monsters and mill your opponent, like, probably 50 to 60 cards plus. So if they are playing a 60 card deck, you can still mill them out if you get full combo. Without further ado, let's get right into this uh, deck profile for you guys. So to start off for us, we have three Hanju. Uh, Hanju is one of the best starter cards in the deck. It basically allows you to get your Maikashi monsters out of your deck. Um, he just says that when you Zormar special summon, you can special summon one Maikashi monster directly from your deck, except for himself. And then all Maikashi monsters kind of have this like stipulation on them. So that's why you'll see later in our extra deck that it's basically just Maikashi monsters. But their stipulation is, is that while any of the Maikashi monsters are on the field, you cannot special summon any monsters from the extra deck except for Mayakashi monsters. Which is kind of like limiting, you know, it's kind of debilitating to the deck. And I feel like there probably could have been something else that they could have put on it that might have had it, you know, be a certain way. But that's the stipulation that they wanted to go for for Mayakashis, I guess. So, yeah, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Still works out for the FDK though. Uh, next card... And I'm going to be going over all the uh, Mayakashi monsters right now. But next card, basically the heart and soul of the actual FTK, Daki. Daki basically is just really good. Uh, I don't think there's any other cards like her out there. But it's just if a Mayakashi monster would be summoned uh, to the field from your extra deck, all those cards in the graveyard, except for the damage step, you can special summon this card back. And it's not a once per turn, so you can continuously do this as long as there is a monster being summoned from the extra deck. So you can use her and anything else, go into your extra deck, and then special summon her back, and just keep on synchro climbing over. It's pretty cool. Uh, next, we run one Shafu. Shafu is basically just there for an extender card. Um, he just says that when he's normal, special summon, you can target one Maikash monster in your graveyard, special summon it back in defense position, but uh, negates effects. So you can special summon back your um, Synchro Monsters, or you can special summon back any of your actual Maikashi Monsters, and basically just continuously keep on getting in the middle. Uh, then for our last Maikashi Monster, we just run Yuku. Uh, Yuku is basically, if you control a Maikashi Monster other than itself, uh, while this card's in the hand or the graveyard, special summon it, and then Foolish Burial a uh, Zombie Monster, which helps out the deck dramatically, and I was actually kind of grateful that they made this card because it wasn't part of the actual archetype when it was first made but yeah so this basically allows you to have that additional extender to send from your deck which helps out the ftk tremendously uh, now we're going to go into some generalized zombie support so we're running uh two sharon elise altar pretty standard you know normal summon tribute him off special summon a zombie tuner so in this case, you can either go for Daki if you already have Unizombie or something like that, or you can just go for Unizombie, which we run. Three Unizombies. Unizombie is basically the best zombie out there for any zombie deck. Um, he gives you your discard if you need to get something in the grave, and then he gives you your Foolish Barrow if you need to get something in the grave. Unizombie plus Yuku basically means full combo as long as you have extenders to bring stuff from the grave out. Um, and that's why we run uh, three Mizuki. Mizuki basically just says if this card's in the graveyard, banish it, special summon a zombie monster back. So, for one of your dumps, you're going to want to dump this, and then for your other dump, you're going to want to jump your uh, Soul Absorbing Bone Tower, which is the actual card that allows you to mill your opponent. And this card's kind of crazy. It's just each time a zombie monster is special summon successfully to your side of the field or to your opponent's side of the field, mill two cards from your opponent's deck. And then it also has kind of a other effect. It doesn't really come up too much, but there is a play that you can do that makes it so it's a little bit, you know, something to know. It's just that if this card's on the field and then our zombie monster's on the field, they can't attack this card first. They have to attack something else. So as long as there's another zombie monster on the field, they can't attack him, which is kind of good protection just because then you can continuously keep on getting your mouth. Uh, so that's it for the monsters. We're going to be going into spells now. So for our spell lineup, we run three Maikashi Return. Uh, Maikashi Return at three is really good just because we want to see this card, and we need to see it. If we don't have any of our Maikashi monsters in our hand, then we get whatever we need. And if we already have 
what we need in our hand, then we can also dump a card. So this just basically says take one Mayakashi monster, or take one Mayakashi card from your deck, except for itself, and either add it to your hand, or send it to the graveyard. You only activate this once per turn. So basically it's either a search or it's a dump, so that you can get your cards wherever you need them. Uh, then we run one, one for one. Uh, basically just summon up Hanju, like instantly, just to get the summon off. And we also run one Where If Thou. Where If Thou is also there just to add your Hanju so that you can basically get the Hanju if you need it. Um, and then this card to kind of have a stipulation that's a little sucky. You take 2,000 damage if you didn't normal summon the card that you added. But 9 times out of 10 you're going to be normal summoning it. And that's why we run two double summon just in case for some reason we can't normal summon it. Then we can normal summon again. Double summon's just two normal summons. And then for extender cards, we run one Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial is basically another opening card. If you open with this in the Unizombie, you have full combo. Or if you open up with, like, I don't know. Basically, any, any card that's allowed you to Foolish Burial card is almost full combo. And if you have two Foolish Burials, it is a combo. Um, then we play... Three Dark World Dealings. Dark World Dealings is basically in here because it's not as good as a Foolish Burial to send whatever we want, but it is as good as a Foolish Burial in the sense that we get to dig through our deck and then also send a card to the grave, which could be a card that we need to Foolish Burial. And then we run uh, two Hand Destruction. And also, what I forgot to say too is that Dark World Dealing, it does it for both players, so they both draw one, both discard one, which is still going towards the middle of their deck. And then Hand Destruction is basically there for the same exact reason, to uh, dump cards that we want to dump and also mill our opponent out as well, because they have to discard two cards and then draw two cards. When we run one card destruction, if we have a really poopy hand, and or if we just want to rip even more cards out of their deck. Um, one Day of Peace. One Day of Peace is there for one, to save us, two, because it rips another card out of their deck. And three, because it's another draw for us. Uh, we do run the one upstart goblin, because this deck does have some consistency problems, so we need to basically get into our cards as fast as we possibly can. So upstart, one extra card, basically for a 39 card deck, is always good. Uh, then we run two book of life. Uh, basically just target a zombie monster in the grave, especially someone on the back. And also banish a card that they have in their graveyard. So normally Book of Life wouldn't be active in turn 1. But because we run so many draw and discard cards. The possibility of them actually discarding a monster. That they think might actually help them out later. Is very highly uh, thought about thing. That might actually come up. So you can actually like use this to extend on your first turn. Still have their monster to banish. And also still be able to do full combo. We run one Monster Reborn, basically the same exact thing, just to bring back a monster. Uh, one Call of the Mummy. Call of the Mummy's in here, um, because this deck kind of needs, like, two summons. So, double summons in here for a two summon, normal summon, and this card's in here for a free special summon. Then we run one Inferno Request Summon. This card's kind of nutty. It's also kind of bad, though. Um, so this card just says that if exactly one monster that has 1500 or less attack is special summoned to the field, while your opponent controls a face-up monster, you can special on that many monsters as possible from your deck with the same name as a summon monster, uh, from your hand deck or your graveyard in attack position, and then also your opponent can select a monster on their side of the field, special summon up to, uh, two more copies of that card from their hand deck or field. So that's the bad stipulation, but the good stipulation about this card being in here is that if you do, for some reason, summon back your uh, Soul Soulsoaring Bone Tower, then you summon out two more of these, that's an instant 14 card mill, which is pretty nutty. So that's it for the spells. Uh, we run two traps in this deck to round it out to 40 cards, and that is just two Soul Levy. Just another card basically to mill out your opponent. If they special summon any monsters, they send three cards from the top of their deck to the grave. So that's like, if you don't for some reason have full combo, and you're basically like trying to play grind game, and they're trying to set up a board or something, you activate this on their first special summon, and this will either deter them from special summoning a bunch of stuff, 
or they'll, they'll pop off and they'll like mill half their deck. So that's the main deck. Uh, now to the extra deck. Like the extra deck, uh, like I was saying earlier, it basically can only run my Akashi cards, so 90% of it is all my Akashi cards. But show you two tech options at the ends that I run. You don't have to run them. You can like bump up other cards or whatever. But so for links, I run two Yuku Uno, uh, the Ice Maikashi. This is just two Maikashi monsters. Uh, her effect really doesn't matter that much. It doesn't really come up that much. But it just says that if a Synchro Monster um, that this card's points to, you cannot target this card's for for attacks if a Synchro Monster in your possession will be destroyed by battle or card effect by your opponent. While this card's on the field, you can target one face-up monster on the field and cut its attack and defense in half until the end of the turn. So that doesn't really matter that much. You aren't really trying to push for game. Sometimes it comes up, but most of the time it doesn't. Uh, the other one that we run is Yuki Ono, the Absolute Zero Maikashi. Uh, she's their Link 4, and I guess there's going to be a Link 3 coming out sometime soon. I don't know when it came out in the OCD. I don't remember exactly what it does, but it's definitely a Link 3, so it's going to make this FDK a lot more easier. But for now, we just have the 2 and the 4. So what the 4 does is that it just takes 2 plus zombie monsters, so it doesn't have to be my Akashi monsters. Um, and you can only control one of her just like you can only control one of the other girl. While this card's on the field, negate any effects of your opponent's banished monsters. And then if a monster is special summoned from the graveyard, or a monster effect is activated in the graveyard, except during the damage step, target one other face-up monster on the field, change its attack to, z to zero, and if you do, negate its effects. Now this is up to twice per turn, and it's also a not until end phase, so it's a permanent, which is really good. And this card right here alone, you're playing against Phantom Knights, GG easy. You know, they can't they can't activate anything. <laughs> and some other decks, it's basically like they can't activate anything either. This is basically a weaker version of like Necro Valley. So that's kind of cool. And she has 2,900. You know, she's kind of a big beefy beat stick. Uh, so that's the links for my Kashis. Now we're going to move on to the Synchros, which is basically the whole entire Synchro climb that allows this FTK to be um, so consistent. So we run two Oboro Gumara, uh, the wheeled Maikashi. This guy is the link or Synchro 3. Um, most of their effects with the whole entire Synchro up aspect of milling your opponent doesn't really matter but this guy and every single other synchro monster has like the same exact type of text it just says that you can only tro control one of these guys um and that if this if a synchro monster in your possession would be destroyed that is all five which is basically how these guys run it's a uh, if a link monster destroyed you summon up the strongest one and that goes down from there so if it was level five uh, that was destroyed by battle or card effect while this card's in the graveyard. Banish one other zombie monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. And then, if this card's special summoned, it gets an effect. So every single one is gonna be like that, but this one in particular is just that your monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. So, and that's only for the turn. Then for this guy, um, once again, you can only control one of him. If level 7 be destroyed by battle or card effect, then you can banish one, summon him, and then when he gets summoned, they mill three cards off the top of their deck. Uh, this guy has to be a level 9 when it gets destroyed, banish one, and special summon him. When he gets special summon, destroy a spar trap. Uh, this guy, level 11, uh, special summon back, destroy one monster upon controls. And then the highest level they have is level 11. And this guy, when a Link monster is destroyed instead of an actual level Synchro, then you get special summon him after banishing a zombie. And then when he gets special summon, he's unaffected by face-up cards. So, anything that's on the field or anything that they try to activate while he gets summoned that turn, he's unaffected by. And then we have two tech options that we play. Um, like, you don't have to play these. You could just bump, like, any of them really up. 
by one. But I play Event Savior because um, I play for a side deck like a uh, Zombie World type engine when I go to tournaments just in case for some reason it's like this isn't working and then I need an additional option then I'll go and do this Star Wars Zombie World play. So I play one Event Savior. This guy during the battle phase, uh, you can dump a card from your deck and then target a monster on their side of the field and that monster loses, what is it, 200 times whatever the level is that the monster was dumped was. The other one is for Vendred cards, but I don't run any Vendred cards, so I don't really ever worry about that. I need a Link 2, and then I run a Link 3 uh, Sherry Nui Skill Saga. Uh, this card's kind of cool because it protects Synchro monsters uh, that are fire. The only one that you really have in here is your level 9, I think. But sometimes it still comes up. And then during your opponent's turn, uh, quick effect, you can target one of your banished zombie synchro monsters. So that kind of comes into play sometimes, so you can summon your stuff back and attack over. But, you know, it's there for just in case that play ever comes up. So yeah, that was my Mayakashi FDK deck. Um, if you guys would like combos or anything of that nature, or just to see more deck profiles in general, let me know. Anyways, this is Madbat9955, signing out. Peace.